Okay, in this uh, video I'm going to be covering a function uh, called mirroring. Uh, essentially, it's just simply like it sounds. You have one character and you want your other characters to replicate that. And it's pretty much for any NPC in the game. Uh, some you can and can't mirror. It kind of just really depends on it, but... I want to say the vast majority of NPCs uh, you can mirror. And that's just not characters, but warps, um, question marks. Uh, there's a lot, you know, anything that you can interact with, that, that is essentially what this able to do. So, all right. How to do mirroring. So, first things I like to talk about is just go to the global. Uh, there's uh, a mirroring tab here. It has three sub tabs. Uh, starting with this, you know, first one. It's just turn mirroring off after mirroring actions. So, um, let me go to commands first. So, to, it, to, to enable mirroring, it's just simply uh, SM mirror, right? So, I have my keybind since I use mirroring quite a bit. Uh, when you are following and mirroring, this turns red. If you're only mirroring, it says it's mirroring, but it turns gray, I suppose. Uh, most of the time, I'm going to be following and uh, have mirroring on because I want to interact. And then uh, I'm able to, to make sure I'm close to the NPC. That being said... Uh, so it's enabled when I interact with an NPC. It's uh, puts up a, a prompt that's telling you that hey, you're starting your interaction with Eternal Flame here. And just for example, I'm going to buy a re-raise, and let's just do a, a warp scroll too. Okay. So now, when I cancel out of this. It's going to broadcast to the other players, you can see here. And it said the other players had it completed. Okay, so tab over. You can see it did a re-raise and warp. Re-raise, warp. You know, they all did their re-raise warps like they're supposed to. Okay. <clears throat> and since I didn't have uh, disable turned off, uh, it's, it's still enabled. And you can see that. The other thing is there are some NPCs you don't want to... Uh, inner or uh, mirror, and that's what this blacklist does, right? One one common one, a good example maybe is uh, chests or entry, like an ambuscade tome here, for instance. You can only have one person enter. Now to add a blacklist, you just simply type the the name, and then the zone and the index. Uh, you know, if you want to find the zone and the index, it's pretty straightforward. You go to debug, and you just click on a. Uh, something right you can see it says target index 3 11 313 and your zone is 256 because you're west of dueling right so that that's where you get those if you ever do want to find that <clears throat> just go to your debug and target the NPC. okay um reflect Reflect is a feature of mirroring. Basically, this is where you can store and save your interactions so that you can replay it at a later point in time. So in this situation, uh, the last reflect is saved here, and it's called temp. So what I'm going to do is just call this one um, warp from eternal flame. I'll just call it something. Okay, so hit save. So now you can see uh it's here here's the message and then you have a choice to send it any one person or send it to all so uh just for just for clarity's sake i'm going to turn mirroring off and now i'm going to select this right and i'm going to do send all okay so you can see um Turin trying to get his warp scrolls along with everybody else, right? So it's handy if um, 
you want to save time and you don't want to interact with an NPC to get your key item for Odyssey. Or if you're running and you're grinding a high tier battle, you can run up to NPC, just blast the send all. Don't even have to talk don't even have to target it. Just be within six yams. I'd probably recommend five to be safe, but it's I think I set it for six yams. Okay. So that's pretty much mirroring in a nutshell. I'm trying to think. Uh oh. You can mirror things that you're not supposed to be able to mirror. Um, for instance, height your battle uh, entry items. If you know four of your people don't have Lilith unlocked and you buy it with the one that you do, all your player, all your characters will get the height your battle key item, and you can enter and, and fight her. Um, it's up to you whether you use that or not. Uh, same thing with warps. Uh, Abyssia warps are not checked against the server, so you can warp wherever inside Abyssia using the flexes. Uh, another one would be Void Watch warps. Uh, it doesn't check to whether or not you have your key item, your Abyssiaite stratums, or whatever they are. If your main player has all those unlocks, the other ones are just going to warp along with you. Um, but I think that's the majority of mirroring. I'll just do a real quick demo to show you um, kind of what's useful for mirroring. So a lot of people, and myself included, use Super Warp just because it's fast. You start learning the home points. But if you're on a controller, a lot of people don't want to type all that, so you can turn mirroring on, and again, this is a NPC. I'm just going to go to Port Sandoria. Yes, please. Okay. So since it's just NPC, it's going to mirror that interaction and, and replay the other characters. Now, since once I zone, it pretty much instantly sends it, and so you can kind of see... They actually arrive uh, about the same time as I do, so it, it's pretty handy. In that way, you only you can play in your controller if you want to just play in your controller, move your characters around. Of course, you know you can have all add-ons uh, through your standard macros here if you want to. You just do the console command. Uh, there's plenty of resources. Uh, in this case, I'm just like I said, I'm showing you. Uh, some of the features. This here, I'm just buying a traverser stone, right? Pretty straightforward. And this is an NPC that actually cancels you out automatically, anyway. So, all right, they're so about my stones. Now I want to go warp somewhere. Uh, let's go to here. You can say you can see that this where this can save you a lot of time. You're not having to tab through and you know all your characters. You go ahead and enter. Now, one thing to understand about how interactions work in the game is when you interact with an NPC, depending on the NPC. You'll have a, a, a cutscene, they call it a cutscene, uh, status of four, and that basically tells uh, the players that, hey, you're interacting. And sometimes, if you don't have the right menu, so if, some, if another player has, like, for instance, a different quest, and they're not on the same menus, right, and you try to mirror it, it could possibly... Uh, essentially quote lock you up it doesn't really lock you up but what happens is is the menus are different and so it doesn't cancel out of it or it can't replicate it because they're just different menus there is a function uh that you can do it's sm reset uh looks like her and he still got it sometimes it doesn't quite report right um you know, he, he clearly got his visitant status 
I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. I want to show you something here, though, too. Uh, I have fast follow and I have mirroring on. I'm going to get this and then I'm going to try to run away as fast as I can so you can kind of see what the other characters are going to do. All right. So you can kind of see they hung around, got there. And once they were done, they kind of came and follow. So distancing wise, you know, it's not going to follow until you're out of that menu. So you don't have to kind of worry about that. And, you know, they all got their their buffs. Now, if someone does get hung up, it's just SM reset, right? Uh, it didn't work, obviously, because there was no packet I was injecting. But that's what you would do. Um, pretty handy. It works for, like, Odyssey and Sorty Warps. Uh, it saves a lot of time, especially, like, Sorty, where you're warping around a lot. Uh, you can enter the battlefields. Um, but, you know, if you have a, a situation where you lock up or whatever, feel free to just mention it. Uh, you know, the more data points and where I can find uh, a situation and help reproduce some errors is, is beneficial. I'd say it's pretty good otherwise. Um, I personally don't really get locked up hardly ever, ever. Um, but... You know, a lot of people are using it for a lot of different things, and maybe there's a situation where it's not supposed to mirror. A lot of times it's just a simple blacklist, if not everybody is supposed to mirror something. You know, like an assault armband, it's in the blacklist. Now, the blacklists are contained in the global, right? So sometimes you won't get the updated blacklist that I keep adding to unless you manually merge it or just to delete your config that xml file which is your global file um but that's kind of all i want really to really talk about uh, on on mirroring here like i said it's, it's a big time saver so if you got any questions or comments uh, feel free to to post them in, in discord so all right thank you